Adam is our first father. The house of Israel has always been subjected to the forces of Satan. All people are originally from Israel, and all have one God, the God of Israel, our one father, Adam. We're not supposed to know this. We are in Rome. Rome uses force and hypnosis to rule over conquered peoples, to reign as gods. The Bible calls them demons. Cast them out. This is Rome. And Rome is brutal. Mexicans are being killed on the border every day, a border that doesn't have any right to exist. This is Rome. The nations that invaded this continent had already been conquered by Rome. Rome's highest value is entertainment. It does not value human life. Rome uses genocide to establish its rule. The Hebrew people slaughtered in the Holocaust. Africans brutally murdered and enslaved. The Native American peoples betrayed and swept aside by the Roman invading forces. But we have a father. He is Adam. He is Abraham. He is mighty to save. The Dead Sea Scrolls say, Abraham, Adam, father of all, came to the river Carmen, one of the branches of the river Nile, and I crossed the seven branches of the river. We passed through our land and entered the land of the sons of Ham, the land of Egypt, and on the night of our entry into Egypt, I, Abraham, dreamt a dream, and behold, I saw in my dream a cedar tree and a palm tree. Men came and they sought to cut down the cedar tree, Abraham, Adam, and to pull up its roots, leaving the palm tree, Sarai, Eve, standing alone. But the palm tree cried out saying, Do not cut down this cedar tree, for curse be he who shall fell it, and the cedar tree, Adam, was spared because of the palm tree, Eve, and was not felled. Abraham, who am Adam, the first father, was greatly amazed by this olive tree and its leaves. I was amazed. The four winds of heaven were blowing powerfully and they damaged this olive tree, breaking off its branches and smashing them. First came the westerly wind and struck it, and shook off its leaves and fruit, and scattered them in every direction. Then I heard, listen and hear, you are the great cedar, standing alone in righteousness, standing on the top of mountains, in truth, and the willow that springs from it and rises towards the heights, and the wood from it, will not separate from you all its days. And I, Abraham, Adam, father of all, wept aloud at night, I and my nephew Lot, Jesus, because Sarai, my wife, Eve, had been taken from me by force by Lucifer. I prayed that night and I begged and implored, and I said in my sorrow while my tears ran down, Blessed art thou, O most high God, Lord of all the worlds, and judge Pharaoh for me that I may see thy mighty hand raised against him. During that night the most high God sent a spirit to scourge Pharaoh, an evil spirit to all his household, and it scourged him and all his household. 